The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came up to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all commandments? Jesus replied, This is the first. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. Therefore you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the second. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribes said to him, Excellent teacher, you are right in saying, He is the one, and there is no other than he. Yes, to love him with all your heart, with all your thoughts, and with all your strength, and to love our neighbor as ourselves is worth more than any burnt offering or sacrifice. Jesus approved the insight of this answer and told him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one had the courage to ask him any more questions. The good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest. Let me share with humility and with the heart, and that people listen with their hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Sisters and brothers, question, how many of you went to visit the resting place, Dumalosa Cemetery? Please raise your hands. Thank you for the effort, the love you have done, sacrifice, napaka-traffic and everything. But look at it this way, just to remind you, mabuti dumadalaw ka pa, hindi pa ikaw ang dinadalaw nila. You're still alive. You are visiting, you're not the one being visited by them. Think about that. Number two, uh, how many of you here are going through may mga pinagdadaanan ng problema o ano man? Lahat naman tayo, halos lahat. But again, think of it this way. At least, hindi ikaw, ibig sabihin yun kung may pinagdadaanan ka, hindi pa ikaw dinadaan ng karwahe papunta na sa cemetery. You're going through something now, at least you're not the one being brought through on a hearse to the cemetery. You have to rise above. Always there's a message. And, mga kapatid, how many of you here can say, you are a sinner? I raise my hands. Yes, Lord, I am a sinner. How many of you can say here, I am a saint. Mm -mm. But, sisters and brothers, look at it this way. You and I are a saint in the making. Keep that mindset. Yes, Lord, I am a sinner. But I am a saint in the making. Ang problema, marami sa atin, we say, I am a sinner for the keeping. For keeps na yun, Father. That's what the evil one would like us to think. Wala ka ng pag-asa. Sinner for keeps ka na yan. But there is the Lord telling us, Anak, you are a potential saint. You are a saint in the baking. Tignan mo ngayon katabi mo, mukhang... May posibilidad bang maging santo yan? Oh, humingi ka na ng relic niya. 
bigay mo na sa akin yung, yung mga kung ano-ano dyan. Okay. Having said that, today, we are reminded again, go back to the basics. What is the most basic thing that the Lord tells us in the Gospel? Love God to the max. With all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. To the max. You and I say we believe we love God. Oh, naman. But are we loving Him to the max? And the second reminder of the Lord today is love your neighbor. Yes? Yes, we love our neighbor. But there is a clause there. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Ah, ibang usapan na yan. Sisters and brothers, I'd like to ask you today, whisper your name. Do you love Jesus? Answer, yes, I love Jesus. Do you really love Jesus? I really love Jesus, okay? And tell me why you love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Let's sing it. Brothers and sisters, do you love Jesus? Yes, I love Jesus. Okay, let's go that way. Brothers and sisters, do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. Do you really love Jesus? Yes, I really love Jesus. Tell me why you love Jesus. Because he first loved me. One more time with the heart, brothers and sisters. Do you love Jesus? I, do you really love Jesus? I really love Jesus. Do you really, really love Jesus? I really, really love Jesus. Why? Because He first loved me. Tanungin mo yung katabi mo, yung pangalan niya. June, do you love Jesus? Do you really love Jesus? Tell me why you love Jesus. Because He first loved me. Are you... Alam nyo, minsan, mayroong nasimulan namin sa katekisam ito. When we went back the, the next class, the children's father, let's love Jesus. All the names of the, the, whole, the whole time na ng kwan, mga pangalan lang nila, happy na sila. This is the question. Sisters and brothers, I'd like you to go back to the most basic thing now. Do you love God? To the max. Check nga natin, with all your heart. Where is your heart? Hardly many times, God is not in our heart. Ang puso mo, nasa pera mo, sa gano'ng kaganda ka, gano'ng kakasya. With all your heart. Number one, God first. Number two, with all your soul. Please don't forget you have a soul. Some people don't care anymore about their souls. With all your mind, what's on your mind most of the time? Mga latest happenings, current events, that's all in our mind. Matutulog ka na lang, business, maganda yata ang ganun. Is God in your mind and with all your strength, effort to say, I love you, Lord. And... Today, I hope and pray that we all can say to God, and let's pray this prayer now. As for me and for my house, we will serve the Lord. The book of Joshua. Say that to yourself. I will serve you, Lord, in any way I can. Because you love me and I want to love you also. Now, second question. Do you love your neighbor? Do you love other people? 
Mm -hmm. I try. Pero what the Lord is asking here is, do you love your neighbor as you love yourself? Ah, ibang usapan na yan, Father. The truth of the matter is, we love ourselves. And what is wrong is if you say, there are some people who are so in love with themselves. Na in love ka sa sarili mo. <laughs> you can love yourself, but don't be so in love with yourself. Oh, symptom. You're always looking at yourself. I see with some ladies sometimes, panay kung ano naman palaging, it's all about, ah, ganun, ganun pa siya. It's, uh, it, you're so enamored with yourself. It's all, the world is all I, me, and myself. What's your biggest concern? Um, papagupit ako, um, yung nails ko, ay yung color ng hair ko parang, it's all, many times, it's all about I, me, and myself. If only we spent more passion and time for the Lord. Think about it. And so, when you think of loving others, Three things lang po. Number one, ask yourself today, do you know how to respect other people? Respeto lang po. Being kind. Being kind to people. In your thoughts, in your words. Pangit po magmura. No matter what you say, don't do that. Kindness in words and in deeds. Number two, if you love people, don't hurt them. Ilang tao nang nasaktan mo? I cannot imagine when people can kill, can steal. Yung kongkonti para sa mahihirap, kinukuha mo pa. Is that love of neighbor? And loving people is you share. You have so much. This week, I've been going through my room. Ang daming naipon. I always try at the end of the year, dispose. Kahit assignment. Okay, when you go home mamaya in preparation for Christmas na to, look at all yung mga nasa cabinet nyo yan. Mga damit, mga sapatos, mga bag, mga dilata nandyan. Ang dami pong mga binaha kung ano-ano. Allah, yung damit mo na yan. Matagal mo na sinasabi, isusuot ko yan kung papayat na ako. Yan, paborito ko yan. Pag pa, papayat na ako. Eh, eh, saka na lang yun. Pamigay mo na siguro. This is what it means to really love people. And one more question, mga kapatid. Do you love yourself? Do you really, truly love yourself? Iba po yung to be so in love with myself, but to love myself means to respect yourself as well. Why? You are a child of God. Hindi ka basta-basta. Hindi ka just-just. Somebody died for you. Yung po ang ating confidence. Eh. You have so low self-esteem many times. And you want to be filled with worldly things to make you feel good. That is not your worth. Your money, your power, your beauty, that's not your worth. The real worth of each one of us is, Jesus died for me. I am loved by God. And that is enough. Hindi na kailangan na mabusog ka kung ano-ano sa mundong ito para lang may feeling ka na, I'm a worthy person. You are loved by God. That's all. And please be kind to yourself. You're not just a body. Lahat ng mga material things, physical things, yan ang inaatupag mo. How about your soul? Do you have time for quiet to nourish your soul? Do you have time to, to reflect on what's really important in life? Please take time. Be kind to yourself. And these, the three eights, Project natin, oh, three H, be healthy, mm -hmm. be happy, and be holy. 
Because if you really become more holy, a lot of things fall into place and you're more free and happy, mga kapatid. Sisters and brothers, in that order, ha? Huh? Love God, love your neighbor, and love yourself. Huwag niyong irambol yan. J, Jesus first, O, other second, Y, you, last. Pag nirambol mo yan, hindi na yan joy. Maybe that's why you're not happy. Because you love yourself more than you love God. More than you love others. As I speak to you, I speak to myself. Because we are all saints in the making. Sinners, yes. But not for the keeping. Let's keep trying, mga kapatid po. And so dear today, think of the saints, the martyrs. These were people who strived to love God first. And to love people and they put themselves last. Saints and martyrs. Oh, ano palang difference ng saint sa martyr? In simple terms, a saint is the one who lives the faith. He lives the faith. He tries to live the faith by a holy life, by a loving life. Saints yan. Madasalin, ma maraming tatulungan. Saint. What is a martyr? The saint lived the faith. The martyr died for the faith. Namatay siya because of his or her faith. Marami ring martyr sa atin Minamartir ng asawa, minamartir ng kapatid. Mayroon po lahat yan, part of our living. Sisters and brothers, think of missionaries. By the way, some Sundays ago, Father Miko was here to say goodbye. He finally left for Panama. A long journey. I cannot imagine how difficult it was for him. He's the only boy and the youngest. And the mother and father, how difficult it was. But they did it for the love of God and love of God. Sacrifice. I got the news today that Father Miko has finally arrived in Panama after almost three days of air travel. Sacrifice. Sisters and brothers, what have you sacrificed for the Lord? Ask yourself that. What have you given up for the Lord? Madalas kasi, we go, do, do things for the Lord kasi upgrade yan eh. Feel good yan. Sacrifice is the way to God's heart. And, and Father Dukes also left na for Japan. Sana mag-Christmas man lang dito, hindi na. God, the mission is calling, you go. That's what it means, mga kapatid, to love God. And for us who are here, we are called to say goodbye also. Goodbye to my vices. Goodbye to my pride. Goodbye to my selfishness. Kayo na pong nakakaalam yun. For the Lord. Sisters and brothers, no regrets. Sana po. Bottom line, may we have little regrets or no regrets in the end that we loved God and we loved people too little, too late. Yan po siguro madalas when you go to the cemetery, baka may regrets ka kasi nagkulang ka ng pagmamahal sa mga taong binigay sa the Lord. Sisters and brothers, one more question. Maswerte ka ba? Sino dito makakasabing, maswerte ako? Wow! Maswerte ka. Lucky. Lucky. Pero, ang sunod na tanong, mapalad ka ba? Are you blessed? I hope you think more of being blessed than maswerte. Maswerte ka kasi... Why? Bakit maswerte isa? Kasi, uh, if you're hard work, okay. Maybe of your good breaks, you got the good breaks. You magaling ka, maabilidad ka, madiskarte ka, maswerte ka. 
You are good in your connections. Swerte, swerte lang yan. Yeah, there's some truth to that. But the bigger picture is, mapalad ka. Sana po, you can say more, hindi lang swerte po, I'm really blessed by God. Maswerte ka kasi mga iba, maswerte siya kasi masweetik siya. Can you imagine somebody, we all came from small beginnings at okay ka na ngayon? Swerte ba yan? Hindi lang yan swerte yan. And if you're really maswerte, para hindi ka lang swerte, you have to acknowledge it was all because of God's work. Ganito yun ha. Many of you have made a lot of money. Oh, hard work, Father. Abilidad ko yan. Tanong ko sa'yo, saan galing ng kapital mo? Yung buhay mo, saan galing yan? Don't forget the giver, the financier. Huwag po tayo magyabang na, swerte ko, Father. Eh. Self-made man, Father. Self-made woman. I'd rather say, I am blessed, Lord, because of you. Mas maganda po yan. And please, don't forget, kung maswerte ka, huwag ka lang, it's all about me. Blessed are you when you know to acknowledge to be grateful to God and to share with people your time, your talents, and your treasure. Hindi na yan swerte sa decision. Sisters and brothers, please don't forget too, when God raises your standard of living, raise your standard of giving. Sisters and brothers, one last question. Parang kwanang to, parang what do you call that? Reminiscent of our visit sa mga puntod. I'd like to ask you a question. Kung you're given the chance, imagine mo yung lapida mo. Ando na yung pangalan mo. Date of birth. Date. Kung pwede kang magsulat ng isang word, adjective, to describe you, ano yung isusulat mo doon? Parenthesis. Ano isusulat mo doon? Second question. Ano kaya yung isusulat ng ibang tao doon? Si Mayabang. <laughs> si Simangot. Yan. Yan ba mga... You would know. Si Matapang. Si Maganda. So, please think about it. What, what will be written on your tombstone? According to yourself, that you want people to remember about you? Or what people write about you? And finally, ito po yung last word. What will God say to you at the end of your life? I share with you my prayer now that I'm 71. My sunset years prayer. Lord, may I live the rest of my life, the best of my life. May my exit from this world be kind. Sana hindi ma drama, hindi ma issue. And number three, may my entry to eternity be light and be bright, that I'll be following the light when I die. Keep that in mind, sisters and brothers. And today we bow our heads. I invite you to put your right hand over your heart. And we sing as we honor our God. To God be the glory, to God be the glory, to God be the glory for the things He has done.
and our prayer. Help me feel the world with love. Help me feel the world with love. Help me feel the world with love. My whole life through. Amen and amen. <laughs>